Poor roads in most parts of the country are impacting negatively on the social economic activities in most communities as locals are denied access to potential markets for their farm produce. Chiboga District Chairman Israel Yiga, his concern is more particular with the situation in his district where major feeder roads have been cut off by rains, especially the road leading to Nakasozi. This very road is one that residents had complained about, especially after killing two border border cyclists, while several others are at risk, especially children who just survived drowning on their way to school. And following intervention by the Minister of Works that is providing culverts, locals together with the district authorities are now embarking on digging channels to divert the rains that are washing away their roads. Instead of spending money at the center, they should give us the money because we are the ones with the people. So I respect the decision that uh, decentralization works well, but where we don't have the facilitation, you feel that we cannot, uh, we cannot work to the satisfaction of our people. These pupils were at last seen going to school after missing for some time and several border border cyclists as well resuming work. Yiga is worried that once the situation worsens, it will impose significant limitations on the growth and development of the rural communities and what is simply needed is change of attitude. We have the energy, we have the strength, but we lack only one thing, the attitude of working together. So I call upon every leader in leadership, every community member to, 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 to have a view of working together.